Hello guys and welcome to this video. I am very excited about this video and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Today I'm going to show you the brand new indicator called Curved Stop Loss. I will show you in a bit why we have named it Curved. As always, you guys can find it under your invite only scripts. And this video will be about I'm going to go through the settings panel, I'm going to show you how you can implement the indicator on short, I will show you how you can set alerts and just go over the basics. So let's jump into the video. And the first thing you will see is this label that says select entry bar and price. You will also see the two lines that I have on my chart. This indicator is a trade and risk management tool that we can use when we are taking trades. So how do we get this on our chart? We just click on our entry. For example, let's say I went long here on the pullback. I just click on my entry, let's say right there. And you will see that it pops up. Let me actually zoom in a bit. So it's easier for you to see. Now you can see why it's called curved stop loss. And this is a brand new stop loss technique and it's not the way you're used to facing a stop loss. Why is this stop loss way better than the regular stop loss? Because this stop loss you calculates based on momentum and plots a line based on this. In this case we can see this move the indicator then analyzes and calculates this momentum move and plots this curved stop loss. And one great thing about this one as well we entered right here as you can see the ordinary stop loss is right here and with time this stop loss will increase in value and it will me it means that our risk will decrease so if the price goes sideways let for example the price goes sideways and then shoot right straight down we will risk a smaller piece of our trade risk than if we would have used a regular stop loss and this will make a huge difference in the long run uh, based on risk reward trades or if you use stop loss uh, and not base it on just straight risk reward trades so and one more thing since this tool calculates based on the, the nearest momentum, it will also automatically calculate a long or short. So if we jump into the settings panel, it looks like this. And as you can see, it's as default set to auto but you can also change this to either a long or short one thing to keep in mind of if you this is a long trade if we click on a long it will recalculate and it will only base the calculation based on your entry and it will not analyze the previous momentum that's why it's a difference between auto and just if you set long. You can also set short and it will calculate in the opposite way. I leave it on auto for now. And you can, it's set to 1.5 in risk reward. That's the mo most common one. You can change it, you can increase, you can decrease. I will leave it as default. You can also implement a trailing stop. 
and the trailing stop, let me zoom out, the trailing stop will start to plot when the curved stop loss is finished. So it will trail the price and we can see where it's got hit. And we can also decrease or increase this value for faster trailing or we can increase for even slower reaction. And so this is the reaction speed. I will hide it for now and let's get into the labels. We can disable the labels. We can, it's uh, set to enable as default and it's set to floating. What does floating mean? Floating means that you can see the label as the price moves. The take profit point will be as default right here but when the price goes up it will be like a peak profit that you can see the current risk reward ratio and also the price so we can see here when the uh, when the stop loss calculate is finished we can see that the reward was 8.55 if we enable a trailing stop we can see that it continues all the way up here to a reward of 13.97 so that's a really good uh, feature to have and uh, let me show you oh we can we can change this of course we can uh, set the labels in the middle we can set it to left we can set it to right but I would recommend floating as you can see the stop loss what the current risk reward ratio is. We have also a floating fill if you want to, if you want the coloring. Uh, and if you set the trailing stop, it will also be like it will be like a channel, so you can see uh, way clearly where the stop loss is and the take profit, the highest take profit point is and with the labels labels uh, you can you can also see the stop loss price and the reward the current reward so in this case the reward when we got stop, stopped out the reward was 6.72 and if we remove the trailing stop we can see here that the reward was 2.41 and of course, if the stop loss is below your entry, it will say, say risk, how much we are risking in this trade. But when we go, go above the entry price, it changes to reward instead, since it's a risk-free trade. We can also, let me hide this one, we can also uh, this TRP label we can choose to hide and the same with stop loss label the, it wasn't hit but you can see right here let me yeah like that we got the label we can change this to some funny emojis that we have implemented for you and you can set it if this emojis doesn't work on your computer or iPhone you can just leave it as the top one and it will choose the inbuilt trading view features you can also change the size of the labeling and you can down here you can set the coloring entry coloring target coloring stop loss coloring you can choose if you want to fill these levels in between and we can uh, choose the transparency of the coloring so 100 would be nothing and we can decrease it for a clearer view and we have implemented a floating risk reward alert what does this 
floating risk reward, risk reward alert mean. It means as, as default we have this to 1.5. Let's say we have a higher target. Let's say I have a risk reward target for a 5 R. Then if I enable this one, we will get an alert when this risk reward hits 5 or higher and we will get alerted when this uh, when the price has reached that area this part you can just ignore this is the price that we already have set and the time and yeah that is basically the settings panel so how can we set alerts i would recommend just to use the any alert function call you will get alerted when all when when the when all these criteria hits for instance the stop, the price goes and triggers our stop loss you'll get an alert price goes to our target it will trigger an alert and if you have these enabled you'll get an alert for that one as well as the trailing stop if the trailing stop is hit you will also be alerted for that one we have also implemented uh, if you don't want to set any alert function calling and you want to choose a specific one you can choose it in the list right here trailing stop take profit stop loss risk reward target or all and then you you just hit create i would recommend this any alert function call since it's way easier and you only need one alert creation and it will trigger all these at, uh, when the when the criteria is met and you just change the name set the specific notifications and hit create as simple as that if you have any further questions regarding the settings panel you can hold on this uh, tooltip right here and it will give you even further, even more information. So let's see how this works. I will change this back as I think this is way cooler visually. I will just change this and I have it on auto. So let's see, for instance, uh, you can see that price is in a consolidation uh, right here so what happens you can see the current stop loss uh, at the moment and if we say that we enter uh, for instance we went long right here you can see the difference in the stop loss and as I said it calculates the momentum move and in this case the stop loss is way smaller and you can see how nicely it goes in this consolidation and consolidation areas is the hardest part for most traders and we can see in this case if the price would have start to go down right here it's basically a risk-free trade let me let's say that i go short right here you will see it will calculate for a short you can see here the distance is way higher than uh, than the previous ones and that is based on this curve this newest momentum we have a consolidation area right here but then the price just spikes up so it leaves room for it to if the price would have continued a bit and then the curved stop loss is calculating that the price can go at maximum right here but then it need to uh, go down as fast and we can see uh, you can see that it's the curve the curve stop loss goes up very quickly and down very quickly just as the momentum momentum the price goes up quite fast and down quite fast and that is pure price action momentum uh, just to show you some more examples uh, I go short here let's say I implement a trailing stop 
we can see the trailing now it's a bit high I will change it to 3 and the trailing stop is currently active the take profit the peak profit is 10 10 in risk reward and if the price goes up we have a reward a risk free trade of 4.96 so I hope you guys like this indicator as much as I do subscribe guys so you can stay tuned because we will release more videos in the near future uh, with this indicator we will go into more details we will show you backtest and we will show you why this indicator will be a game changer in the trading industry so subscribe guys and leave a like and i will see you in discord